support for Calzaghi. A lot of flags with the Welsh dragon on. Bits become right, only the eighth world champion from Everybody Wales. Everybody the rules in the dressing room. I expect a good, clean fight. Give me good sportsman-like conduct. Be my commands at all time. Shake hands. Hello. Joe Cortez, who was the referee when Lennox Lewis did his 95-second job on Andrew Galotta in Atlantic City a week ago, has flown the Atlantic to be here. Fight number 50 for Chris Eubank. But is this a comeback born of desperation for money and a craving for limelight? Or has Eubank rediscovered a genuine desire to restate his credentials? And what about Calzaghi? Untried. And let's go with the left hand straight away. Eubank May, I didn't know whether he might just try to catch Calzaghi cold. Well, Calzaghi is a very fast starter. Ten first round. Oh, the left goes. hand puts Eubank on the floor for only the fifth time in his career. What a start by Calzaghi. He means business, all right, this Welshman. Eubank is smiling. He was only down for about two, but had to take a mandatory eight. What a start. I said 10 first round wins, no chance of being caught, a little bit cold, a beautiful punch from Joe Calzaghi and a wonderful start. Well, if he was suffering from any butterflies, he won't be now. He does have to watch Eubank on the counter though, as Eubank has proved more than once that he's dangerous as a counter puncher. I think Eubank actually mouthed to Calzaghi across the ring, good shot. And there's another, Calzaghi left. This is the reality for Eubank, now of his comeback. Forget the theme tunes and the posturing. Calzaghi's been telling us for a long time that he is a real factor in this super middleweight equation. A lot of people, quite good judges, have said they don't think he can really fight, that he slaps, that he's an arm puncher. Well, I think he should with that punch. He's certainly not an arm puncher, and I think his, his 21 knockouts and 22 fights suggest he isn't. Remember, Eubank has never been stopped, but Calzaghi is working him over in this first round. Eubank is in some trouble here. He may need all his resilience and solid chin to get through this. And Calzaghi is setting a pace that Eubank does not like. And these punches, head and body, are thudding home. Well, a terrific start from Joe Calzaghi, letting every punch in the boot go. It's a really exciting stuff from Calzaghi. Who said that he might suffer stage fright? Forget that. Eubank somehow has to weather this. And a good right hand there. Now Zaghi's even moving through the shuffles now. He's loving the big stage. Head, body shots. I've always had the suspicion with this fellow that he's very heavy-handed. I watched him in the gym one day at work and you just had that impression oh, what a start by Calzaghi well Eubank is going to have to show some real grit and championship quality to come back from that first round and become a world champion again. And this is first fight in England for over two years. Calzaghi with height and reach advantages as well as being six years younger. Eubank can hit. 
Dallas have some power, or always did. Again, another fan. big left from Calzaghe. It's a good punch, Ian. He's catching Eubank with that one every time. Remember, too, until about 11 days ago, Calzaghe thought he was working oh. towards Steve Collins, not Eubank, so he's had to switch the strategy in his head. Different kind of fighters. Can Eubank find any way into this argument? Still early. Zach is not missing with many. The right jab's good from the southpaw stance, but the, the left hook is especially good. Super confident Kalzaki. Trained by his father Enzo, who will be proud of what he's done so far, but the job is not complete by any means. All we've seen so far is a good start. There's more to winning world championships than that. But he's certainly, I think, the, the, the best point from Kanzak is he's fighting his fight at his pace. He's not falling down to Eubank's pace, which a lot of fighters do. Certainly Steve Collins didn't do, and that's why he had two very good wins. And really, that's what Kanzak has got to fight at his own pace. comeback could stall right here if he doesn't get past Calzaghe again club by those left hands they were slapping left hands really those from Calzaghe landed with the inside of the glove technically shouldn't count but uh, they probably did with the judges now George Cortez has to separate them at the end of the round giving each other the eyeball treatment and now Eubanks going walkabout as if to say, well, I might have been caught by some shots, but I'm OK. Third round of this packed Sheffield arena. Well, maybe past midnight, but no one's going home. This is some night of sport, isn't it, one way and another. Are we in here on the birth of a new star in Joe Calzaghe? Or will Eubank, as he's done so often in the past, find a way to prevail? I suppose in Eubank's favour, at least he's got through the opening blitz. Yes, he got through that, but... Surely Kalzaghi's going to have to settle down a little bit, just get his box together and then start to pick it up again. And he's got to keep switching the, the, the pace a little bit, Kalzaghi. He's that left hand again. Four or five of them to head and body. And the youngster. trying the overhand right, but it's quite a slow punch and Kalzaki can see it coming. I have to ask how much those two defeats by Steve Collins have taken away from Eubank. Oh, again, a big left from Kalzaki, forcing Eubank back. He needs that solid chin in here. Work his body, work his body, work his body, work his body, man. Bust his body out. That's it, that's it. And again, and again, bust his body out. Again, Eubank has to give ground as the left hand gets through. Got him with his own good uppercut there, though. Again, the left hand landed from Kalzaki. He's working well, Kalzaki pushing him forward. Some nice uppercuts, and Eubank starting to get in with some good-looking body shots as well. He's trying to slow Kalzaki down a little. 
maybe just reel him in. Calzaghe really is like a young lion, full of hunger and ambition. Again, that wild right hand from Eubank, missing wildly with that. Countering left, this time from Calzaghe. As the bell goes to end the third round. Eubank did better in that third round. Is he finding some kind of foothold? Calzaghe, who was 13 when Eubank made his professional debut. Used to watch Eubank on the television. Here he is in the ring with him. Eubank, you can see his ploy, body punches where he can. Mike Calzaghe's inexperience catch up with him. As he has to maybe dig a little deeper than ever before in a longer and more grueling fight. Most of his opponents so far have been on the soft side, I think it's fair to say, though he did have a decent win over Mark Delaney, Steve Wilson in a British title fight. Yes, but it's still a, it's a big step up to this kind of class. Absolutely. And he's got to keep a high work rate, Kalzaki. He can't allow Eubank to start getting into his stride. Eubank down in the opening seconds for only the fifth time in his life. Oh, left hand again, big shot, Kalzaghi. Eubank took it well, left himself a bit open though. And again, fast hands from Kalzaghi. Who just brings naked aggression and obviously some power to the show here. He wants this championship really badly. How deep can Eubank dig? And Kalzaghi putting the pressure on Eubank. Kalzaghi's re-established himself in this fourth round. And he's beginning to club Eubank around with ominous regularity. That's a great right though by Eubank. Still dangerous. Kanzaki looks much better when he puts his punches together in clusters. Has good success and Eubank just can't handle that sort of pace. This is a busier Eubank. He knows he can't posture here. Kalzaghi isn't going to allow him to do that. He said that at the pre-fight press conferences. I'm not going to let him pose. I'll be at him all the time. Kalzaghi says I'm younger, I'm stronger, I'm fitter than Kalzaghi, uh, than Eubank. You're doing good. Here's the fifth round. Eubank, former champion at middle and super middleweight. Looks to regain the title. Left open by Steve Collins' retirement. Kalzaghi won't give Eubank a second. That's how I've got it with. Kalzaghi in a, a four-point lead, making such a good start in that ten-year round in the first. Good left hand from Eubank. Kalzaghi's chin is passing the test, isn't it? Some wondered about that because we've never seen him put under pressure before. 
Well, he's had to take some good punches inside. Eubanks' uppercut is working well, but can Kalsaki's took it well. The only time Kalsaki was taken the distance was by Eubanks' cousin, actually, Bobby Joe Edwards. And uh, Kalsaki was giving lumps of weight away to him. As Edwards uh, accrues away, that's two weights up from Kalsaki. So that's a lot of weight to give away, but he won very easily. Well, it's hotting up the action in centre ring. Kalsaki is the one who, for my money, is getting the better of it. He's the one who's forcing Eubank backwards. There is a real intensity and desire about Kalsaki here. Can he sustain it? He may have to go the full 12 round route against this fellow. Back came Eubank with a very good countering right and a right uppercut. Now it's a trade off. Eubank fought his way off those ropes well. He is dangerous with his back to the ropes like that. Yes, he is, but he's, Kazaki said, in such a terrific pace. And he caught Eubank several times. Oh, big left and a right. And Eubank, how did he stay up from those? Two punch combination. Eubank was staggered. But he has, seems to have this capacity for his head to clear almost instantly. He looks a little bit hurt, Eubank. The legs are just starting to betray him, looking a little heavy. Wants to hold on by a bit of time, but goodness me, didn't Eubank show some resilience there? He's breathing heavily, though, Eubank. This is hard for Eubank now. He's going to have to come from a long way off the pace if he wants this to be a glory night for him. Eubank's battling back very hard indeed, but he's had to. Joe Calzaghe is really fighting out of his skin and answering a lot of questions. He really is showing good heart, good spirit, and he does have that very strong punch. So here we go, we're round six. Eubank has decided to put on a spurt to do something about that, but left himself open. Calzaghe is clever there. He kept his gloves up, waited for an opening, and Eubank has had to call off the assault. I tell you, at the moment, the young man is the boss in there. Eubank came out to try and take the play away from Kalsaki there, but Kalsaki was ready to meet him and give him more. Left hand and a right uppercut from Eubank. He'll be waiting and watching for signs of wear and tear in Kalzaghi too. It's been a hard fight. It's already been twice as good as most Eubank fights. And he got through with that straight right hand too. He's not finished with the end Eubank in here, you know. Oh, well, I think he hoodwinked Kalzaghi. Then he looked up to the ring lights, then hit him with a right uppercut. Kalzaghi takes that too. What a fight this is it's turning out to superb, be. Isn't it? The youth against the experience. These two are providing us with a thriller. Oh, straight left hand. Terrific shot from Kalzaghi, and again, Eubank absorbed it like a slice of blotting paper. It looked as if that took a fair bit out of Eubank. The legs again became heavy, stiffened to the canvas. Heavy shots from Joe Kalzaghi. He's breathing heavily, Eubank. He's waving Kalzaghi in. He wants to counter him. And look at Eubank's hand speed still. I tell you what, Eubank himself has shown he still has the desire to carry on as a fighter. Yes, he really has. This is a, a very hard fight. Oh. Zaki's ahead and looking to hit the hard and 
looking well, but Eubank still there and still looks as if he can be a, a constant threat. And there still might be a twist in this. Remember, Calzaghe's stamina is an unknown quantity. Eubanks isn't. Oh, a big left hand again from Calzaghe in that exchange. Oh, and a right hand and another left hook. Eubank is having to take a lot, a lot. And still he punches the air. Well, the crowd are on their feet at this, including Richard Branson, I can see, on the far side. Here's round seven. Eubank again goes for the fast start. Can he break Calzaghe's resistance? Well, it's a punch for punch trade off. On the far side of the ring, Herbie Hyde on his feet, Nazim Hamid on his feet. Really enjoying this fight. Well, they're going to talk about this one for some time, whatever happens. We have a Real battle of wills. If Eubank can win this, after everything that's happened, you'd probably have to put it down as his biggest win since the day he became WBO middleweight champion against Nigel Benn in that Birmingham Classic back in 1990. But that's a big hit. Whose will will break first here? Calzaghe is well ahead, but Eubank's spirit is far from broken, you sense. Calzaghe a little quieter in this round. He's fought at such a pace, he's got to be starting to tire. Both of them will have enormous respect for each other already, I would think. Kalsagi has already answered a lot of questions. But he hasn't answered the ultimate question, which is, can he win and beat somebody like you, man? Kalsagi a little tired in this round. He's looking to, to hold on a little bit more. And this is his quietest round. They're just both on the floor, there's no knockdown there that I could see anyway. And Joe Cortez sees it the same way. Well, if Eubank is tight at the weight, you could have fooled me. Certainly could, he's fought at such a pace and he's took such heavy punches. And that's a tribute to how hard he's worked for this. Oh, big right from Eubank on the barrel and I think he would have taken that round. Is he on the way back? Eighth round. A little bit of damage around the eyes of Calzaghe. Hint of swelling nothing much at the moment they both look remarkably unblemished for the kind of contest it's been these are good body shots by Eubank who wants to go to war again but Calzaghe will not be dominated good fast combination from Calzaghe with Eubanks back on the roof just to tell him he's the boss or at least he's trying to be the boss a thrilling fight another right hand I think that one stunned Eubank momentarily this his head just dropped down at that point and I've got it there Kalzaghi 
He won't win the last round, but Calzaghi's still in a, in a big lead. And there's no sign of Calzaghi's tank running dry yet. Newbank, what we're hoping beyond hope that it might do. That's a fascinating one, this. And Eubank telling Nazim to shut up there. I think Nazim is, is having a few comments to Eubank, and Eubank just told him to shut up. Breathing a bit heavily, Eubank, his arms down by his side. Surely can't carry on at this ferocious pace. Well, it's been a, a terrific fight, and the crowd absolutely riveted. Just getting a bit ragged. But you can forgive them that in a fight like this. Good body shots from Eubank. Two or three. One in there straight, a little bit low. He's found some good uppercuts, Eubank, as well. But Calzaghi is still winging away with these sweeping left hooks of his. Oh, Calzaghi has a lot of questions about his heart, his chin, his determination. And his right to be here. Exactly. Now this division is just bursting with great fights. And let's hope we see them. Just a hint of a slap again. Does that sometimes, Calzaghi? He's with the inside of the glove. Well, that was another good round, but in this fight, it was a quiet one. This is new ground for Joe Calzaghi. Never been this far before. Will he last home? He does his training on the very steep hills around his home in Newbridge, South Wales. He says, my training runs are not like other fighters. I run uphill quick. He may need all that conditioning here. You give Eubank enormous credit here, don't you? Because he's tried to match Calzaghi's fire with plenty of his own. And, you know, against many, many people, this level of performance would have been good enough for a big win for him tonight. That's right, he, he really has. At the beginning of rounds, he's trying to catch Richard Jazai by coming out, really taking the fight to Calzaghi. He's tried to give as good as he's got. Calzaghi just getting through with, with more punches. But Eubank fighting a, a good fight, still a lot left. Watch the rabbit punches, says the referee to the eager Calzaghi. And you wouldn't have thought Eubank would still be here fighting like this after you saw him go down so heavily in the first round. Right hand from Calzaghi was an eye catcher. Clubbing Eubank around. Both of them must be tiring after a fight of this intensity. But still, both of them throwing punches. Eubank looking to try and bring them up, but Kansaki just throwing more. Kansaki looks as if he's getting a second win, just picked up the pace a little bit more on this round. Doing most of the work. There's a bit of a swelling underneath his right eye. They have the ice on that between the rounds. It's nothing much, though. Still Eubank pumping in these body shots when he can, hoping to stop and tire this younger man. Well, if Calzaghi wins this, he's going to be a hero back in Wales, where they revere their world champions, men like Jim Driscoll and Jimmy Wilde and Howard Winston. Calzaghi landed a good left hand there. It's a good exchange from him. Look at Eubank come back at him, letting go with right hands. 
had to give ground again. He just cannot put out Calzaghi's fire, though. Again, he was hurt by another shot from Calzaghi. Good round for Calzaghi. Well, Eubank is having to go to the well and back again and back again and back again. And still, he continues the fight. crowd here absolutely enraptured by this as they were earlier on watching the other fights and as a bonus on the screen tonight England's famous night in Rome pity about the crowd trouble nothing like that here Calzaghi with a left hand counter, Eubank touched down with his gloves, that has to be a knockdown. He's saying I slipped, I don't think so, it was a left hand, he's not hurt by it, but technically his gloves touched the canvas and that has to go down as a knockdown. And there was a, a sharp little punch in there, the quick reflexes of Joe Calzaghi just caught Eubank lunging in, he had to touch down with both his hands. And the way they score these things, that may cost him extra points as well. Eubank's talking to Calzaghi. I'm sure he'll be worried about that, Eubank. Of course, in the past, Eubank has, well, how can I put it, had a few favours, it seems, from the judges. But this is uh, a different setup. Can Calzaghi keep this going? Well, I must say I'm impressed with Calzaghi. In the past, he's never really shown me that he's a, a mature fighter. He's got the job done that quickly. We haven't really seen what he's got, but in this fight, he's showing he's got a great deal of talent. That's, this is the fight I think he wanted. He wanted to prove to the world that he can operate at this level. He's looked exciting, too, doing it here. And that is, of course, going to make him a bit of a seller. Robin Reed, the WBC champion, is watching this, and I'm sure he's working out a few things about strategies and styles for uh, if he should be meeting Calzaghi somewhere down the road. I know he is. <laughs> Fighters do. But this argument isn't settled yet. Enzo, Calzaghi's dad in the corner his trainer shouting out to him saying don't get idle Enzo who was uh, brought up in the same village as Gianfranco Zola in Sardinia and all kind of anglers linking things up tonight I think credit to Enzo I think people have wondered whether a father and son relationship works but certainly it's working with this father and son because he's prepared his son tremendously well for this contest this, if it is a Calzaghi triumph, it will be a family triumph. <laughs> minutes left, six minutes for Eubank to rescue it. Otherwise, it looks like Calzaghi's night. But we've seen Eubank turn things around before one doesn't like to really raise the subject as Glenn's scorecard but do you remember the 11th round of the terrible and tragic fight second fight with Michael Watson but what happened in the ring there was that Eubank turned things around when he was facing defeat and that's what's relevant maybe in this equation well I think he's still got a fighter's heart but remember he's, he's a a good deal older now and he's been through a lot more fights and his career is much farther advanced so whether he can pull something out at this stage no we're yet to see still Calzaghi taking the fight to Eubank funnily enough Eubank's old trainer Ronnie Davis who was within nine years predicted that Calzaghi would win he said he'd be too fast and powerful for Eubank. Interesting. 
Well, that's proving right. But it must have been hard to come down a ways. But Calzaghe, you can't take nothing away from Calzaghe. He's really shown to be a mature and a very good fighter. As it looks as if he's going to turn himself from being regarded as a talented prospect with a few question marks about him to somebody we have to take pretty seriously. He's up now in the big money league, Calzaghe, if he can hold on to this. Eubank may be saving himself for one last desperate rally. Eubank's lunging, he's looking for the big punch. Just dropping his head a little bit inside there, I'm sure. He's very, very tired. Calzaghe has hit him with so many big punches. Eubank has got through with plenty of his own here. He's hoped that somewhere along the line, Calzaghe would snap, but it hasn't happened, and it's getting late. And this has been a, a much quieter round, not a great deal happening. Maybe Eubank's trying to suck it all in in this round for a no minute. No knockdown, just his momentum took him there. Breathing heavily, just moving a little unsteadily on his legs as well now. Eubank, he's kind of shuffling around the ring. As he's looking heavy and looking to fall forward onto Kalzaki. Again, he tries that lunging right hand. His chin was always one of his great assets, of course. And it's out of in good stead tonight. Three minutes left. Eubank now surely needs a knockout. Last round. And you can guarantee he knows that, and you can guarantee he's going to go for it. Kalzaghi's still got that bounce in his step, still looks reasonably fresh. But if he's sensible, Kalzaghi, he may just look to box this through and be too cautious, maybe even. Just make sure he gets the victory. Remember Bruno in the last round against Bone Crusher Smith? What was he, nine rounds ahead or something? Got knocked out in the last. Tried to go for the stoppage. Kalzaghi's doing that here. Yes, it doesn't look as if he's going to try and be cautious. He's fought this fight aggressively on the attack very confidently and it looks as if he wants to finish the fight the same way Kalzaghi has come of age still all the work coming from Kalzaki. Eubank is very tired now. But he may keep his proud record of never having been stopped. Kalzaki caught by a thumping right hand from Eubank. His chin's been proved here, Kalzaki. You can put a tick against that in future now. I think everything's been proved in this fight. He's got a punch, he's got the style, he's got a, a good chin. And there's another Eubank right hand. Under a minute remaining. Eubank needing snookers. Both land with good punches there. Kalsaki with the right Eubank. Also with the right hand. And still they want to trade to the last. This has been a superb fight. Well, if Eubank's going to go out with this fight, if this will be his finale, he'll go out in style and put up a tremendous battle. Well, he may not go out after this. He can walk out of this ring with his head held high. Whether he would want to fight on. This has been a, another ageing fight, really. But Kalzaghi has answered the questions here. All of them in the affirmative. Kalzaghi just stung by one right hand, you felt there, right towards the end. 
holds on, there's the final bell, they embrace at the bell, the fusion of spirits, Kalsagi is lifted aloft, I think we all know which way the judges will see that, Joe Kalsagi has surely become a world champion. Ladies and gentlemen, we go to the scorecards, Dave Powers scores the bell, 118 to 109. Paul Thomas scores it 116 to 111 and Roy Francis scores it 118 to 111 for the winner who is now WBO Super Middleweight Champion of the World, Joe Calzaghe. What a moment for Joe Calzaghe. A moment he will never ever forget as long as he lives. The Welsh Dragon is flying high in Sheffield. And a round of applause for the two-time world champion, Chris Eubank. He was an ABA champion at three different weights. There's his dad, Enzo. It's a triumph for him too, because people thought scored on their humble little setup down in Newbridge, South Wales. Now, uh, is that a farewell gesture from Eubank? Is he saying goodbye? Joe Kalzaghi, world champion. How does the super middleweight champion? And Paul, he's covered in sweat, but he's covered in glory. Joe Kalzaghi, world champion. How does that sound? Sounds brilliant, you know, what the hard work I've done. I just thank God. Obviously, I thank my dad, I thank my wife. I thank all the fans who come to support me tonight. They give me a lot of incentive. I put him down early in the first round. And in a way, I'm a bit disappointed not to knock him out, you know. But he's never been stopped in his life. You had him down early. It looked like you might blast him out and really make a name for yourself. I had the capability to stop him. I knocked him down a couple of times and I hurt him all the time, showing that I have a punch, great punch power like Chris Eubank that he stopped. Bit of an experience and they showed they had the fitness and they showed they had the chin because he caught me some good shots. Didn't even bite on me at all. And it's only better to come. You know, that's my first meaningful fight, my first 12 round fight and it beat former champion Chris Eubank easy. You know. How important was it for you, not only to win the World Championship, but to do it in such exciting, ticket-selling style like that? Well, I was, you know, it was good, but it wouldn't have been as good if I knocked him out early, which I, I should have. But, you know, I'm still really pleased. Take nothing away from Chris Eubank, he showed, he's still got a lot of art, and maybe he's got, you know, he's still got something to give to the game. Do you feel a bit sorry for him because he put up some fight, didn't he? No, I don't feel sorry for him at all. <laughs> at the end of the day, he was in there trying to beat me, and when someone's trying to beat me, you know, I just got to take him out. Simple. Let's bring in Enzo here, because it's a family triumph. This one or two people I heard poking a bit of fun, saying, you know, father and son partnership, it won't work, but it has, hasn't it? It certainly has worked, and uh, what can you say? Any other father and sons out there want to train their, their, their sons, do it by means, because it does work. Thanks a lot, Enzo. Frank Warren, what's, what's the way ahead for Joe here now? I mean, there are all sorts of fights in this uh, super middleweight division to be made now. There's a gentleman commentating tonight, Robin. I'm sure, you know, in the next 12 months, 18 months, it's going to be a big, big fight for all the fans and for these two guys to put on. Uh, excellent performance, answered every question that was asked of him. And uh, you can't take, what you can't take away is Chris Eubanks fighting heart on his chin. What a great champion he's been and what a performance he put up. Yes, he did, and the crowd agree with that as well. Can I just take two things? I'd like to thank Frank Warren very, very much for giving me this opportunity to fight for the world title. Best promoter in the world, as everyone knows. And uh, I'd just like to say happy birthday to my wife, Mandy, tonight. And only one thing went wrong for you tonight. Italy didn't qualify for the World Cup, but England did. <laughs> yeah, well, I was secondary. I don't mind. You know, I didn't care at the time. I mean, at the end of the day, I'm, I'm important. Yeah, what, what a great performance and a great fight. Thanks a lot.